So I figured what I'd do is show you the actual procedure first and then talk about it a little bit. So here's Rory with a ultrasound identifying a vein. He sees a nice big plump vein. He's injecting local anesthetic from the kit. He's not going to blow his whole wad here. He's going to use about half the syringe for the skin anesthesia. We'll talk in a little bit why you want to save about half of that syringe because you're going to need to anesthetize uh, a different spot later on. There's the big fat vessel. All right, he's now poking with the non-safety needle. He gets his flash, disconnects the syringe, takes the beautiful floppy wire, advancing it into the vein. And you can see it goes super easy, telling you you have a nice painted vein. We feel good about this. You don't have to put it all in. You really just need enough um, so that you're about halfway down the wire. He's making a nick over the wire now, and he's going to insert the dilator. Now, the dilator is big and thick, so you really want to make sure it goes easy. And if you're reaching resistance, then rack the wire in and out to make sure it's not still kinked. And when you're actually pushing on the dilator, push right near the skin. Don't push far away by that little uh, T-piece. You want to be a couple centimeters away. He's removing the inner stylet. You saw that rush of blood. He puts his thumb over it to prevent the patient from exsanguinating. And now he's going to take the pre-stiffened midline. I'll explain what all that means. He's going to gently insert it into the breakaway dilator. He's going to advance it up. And sometimes there's a little bit of friction here, but if you meet any real resistance, don't push. Pull, come on out and try again. All right, here he goes. He's just clearing out his little wire guide there. All right, he's putting it in, putting it in. You don't want to put it in all the way to the hub yet because you're going to need to break off that dilator. You'll see what that means in just a sec. All right, that looks like a good amount, uh, but Rory wants one push more. Okay, there we go. That's, that's the right amount to have out, you know, about three, four inches. You'll pull back on the dilator and then just crack it, and it'll split in half. And then you're going to pull it down till you're near the skin, but not at the skin. You don't want this breaking apart inside the skin. You, know, you keep pulling it out over the um, midline itself. Pull it out, break. Pull it out, and break, and... We lost the last little pull, but you'll see it in a sec. Uh, there it is. Okay, final break is done. Now you could hub the midline. And you want my face in the initial shot? Yeah, because Peter gets pissed if my face is not there. So. <laughs> Tell me when you're good. All right. All right, so we did an extensive video on placing these long midlines. We're gonna do a super quick uh, attention deficit disorder version for people that just will not watch a half hour video. I don't blame you. This is the kit. Might as well start zooming in on it now. Comes out, you can get your mask and your hat and everything on. You can check out the patient's vessel with this tourniquet. Obviously you're full sterile. Obviously you can send to the patient. Obviously you've done your timeout, blah, 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 blah. Your gown. Additional gloves, I always grab gloves from the uh, carts because I, I like my gloves that I like. You have your drape. This is the non-fenestrated drape. Chlorhexidine. These are your needles. Hold on to those, you're gonna need them. This is to wipe your hands if they're wet. Fenestrated drape. Additional drape for the arm. Ultrasound probe cover. Two saline flushes. Additional chlorhexidine, some four by fours, some tape. Central line or midline checklist. Additional measuring tape in case you haven't measured already. Steri strips for securement. Some warning instructions. If you haven't figured that out, you're already in trouble. Tegaderm, stat lock to secure. Okay, so you got your site, you got a tourniquet on, you got the patient all draped, you're ready to go. You've done your measurements from wherever your site is to about two centimeters before the arm crease. That's what we figured out works best. First thing you gotta do is cut your midline. Midline comes with a wire in it, but you can't cut the wire. So you gotta pull the wire back such that you're not gonna cut it. I usually pull it almost out or entirely out. And now you look at the centimeter markings on the line, you figure out matching up to what you've measured and you cut it straight across with the enclosed scissors. Let's say we measured a 15, here I am cutting a 15. Now, put the wire back in to this blue port. until it just pops out of your line. And there it is, and then pull it back so it's at least a quarter of an inch in, and lock that bad boy down with this blue knob. 
All right, you're gonna flush the catheter in both ports. If you need to know how to do that, watch the full video, you lazy bastard. The wine's now ready. You're gonna get your needle. There's two, one's a safety, we don't use that one. There's the non-safety, we like that one. You're gonna go in and you can either attach a syringe to your needle and go that way, or you can just go straight up needle if you're going with ultrasound. But one way or another, you get your flash. Once you get your flash, you're gonna grab your wire. Here it is. It's super flimsy. Advance your wire at least halfway in. You know, there's some question about whether you need any more than this in there. Don't use this back end. It'll destroy the patient's vessel. All right, so your needle comes out. You're going to make a nick right over that wire. And now your breakaway dilator is going to go in. Thread it over your wire. Make sure it comes out the back. And then go, while holding the wire in your non-dominant hand, come right close to the skin and advance like a sonometer. Regrip, advance, regrip, advance. If you're reaching any tension, make sure your wire is still moving easily in and out. Advance, advance, advance till you're all the way to the hub. And at this point, your wire can come out, put your thumb over the dilator and then turn the dilator counterclockwise and the dilator comes out. Now you have the dilator in the vessel. If you really want to check, oh, blood, blood, blood. Okay, that's good. Now, you're gonna take your midline and making sure still that wire is not protruding, advance right into the vessel, advance, 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 and stop like when that much of the midline is still out. Because now you're gonna break this dilator. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna pull out a little bit from the skin, crack it, pull until it reaches the skin, and then pull more out. Separate, pull more out, separate, pull more out until it's totally broken outside the skin. And then you could pop your midline all the way in, make sure you get blood return from both ports done. All right, so Rory's injecting again with half of the lidocaine syringe. We're saving the other half for later when we actually do the dilation. There's the ultrasound. All right, here comes our nice big introducer needle. Looking on the ultrasound. And there it is, nice flash. And there it's still going. We know we're patent in the middle of the vessel, so we'll put that floppy wire in, advance about halfway of the wire, going nice and smooth and easy. Great. Needle comes out, tourniquet goes down. We didn't show that part, but you'll take down the tourniquet now. Little nick right over the wire. Be careful, the vessel usually is pretty close to where the wire is on these midlines. Here comes the dilator. And again, I'd give the other half of the uh, lidocaine here right above that wire where we're going to push against the skin with that dilator. He's holding the wire right close to the skin, pushing the dilator in, pushing it in, pushing it in. Went nice and smooth. No interruption that would make you think you're kinking. Otherwise, you could rack the wire back and forth. Out comes the dilator. Cover the hole. Here comes the midline. It's already been stiffened, and the wire has been made sure not to protrude from the tip. Midline's getting advanced. Not all the way. We'll leave out a few centimeters so we could break our dilator. There it goes, in, 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 yep, nice and smooth, okay, pull the dilator out, don't break it inside the skin, break it outside along the actual uh, midline itself, break, 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 not to the skin, there we go, we stop, we pull back, and break, 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 pull back, and this will be the final pull, it's now fully split, we can advance the midline to the hub. We're gonna check both ports. There's some nice blood, and it had already been pre-flushed. We're just checking each patency of the lumen. And uh, there you go. So if you have any questions, um, just put some comments on this post itself, and uh, we'll see them, and we'll get back to you.